Hello and welcome to this is a, a short tutorial here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use some of the um, ideas that we've been kind of working on um, in the last kind of tutorial about public static variables to um, yeah to to what we're going to do here is make a score. So uh, first of all, I've taken the liberty of turning off this audio source so we don't have to listen to clip clop feet all the time. So that's still running, but we just don't need to listen to it. So uh, when I press play, I have my character who walks along. We can trigger the lift that goes up and down, and then we can you know move through the world. So what I want to do now is I just want to make a, a very simple head up display. So I'm going to go right click UI, and I'm going to create a UI button. So there's my UI button. I'm going to go to my canvas and I'm going to tell the canvas to um, scale with the screen size. So my button has disappeared. And then my reference resolution should be my intended game resolution, which is HD, so 1920 by 1080. By 1080. Okay. And my button, which is here, has come back on screen. So we're going to um, size that up a bit. So I'll make it bit wider and we'll make it a bit bigger that way we'll move yeah so move is selected so let's zoom way out here um, so we have used the UI before so we're not gonna um, yeah, spend too long um, okay so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, just change this. Just, we're going to keep this nice and simple. So I'm going to increase the size of the text here so for the button. Um, we'll just call this score. We're going to replace that in a minute. Okay, so that's going to be my score. Now um, we'll just park that there for a second. Um, I'm going to create a new object. I'm going to call this a, an air bubble and uh, I'll double click on it and focus on it and I'll change its scale so it's uh, small but not too small and we'll move that off here to the right okay and I'm going to add to that a 2D physics uh, a circle collider and I'll just from reduce the radius. So we're going to bump into this in a minute and basically it's going to be like a coin. And I'm not going to bother putting on the you know delete object or destroy object sort of a component. Just I want to bump into it and I want to um, update my score every time I hit it. And I want to use a public static variable for that. So we're going to have a look at um, some scripts now. So I'm going to go into um, my player script. So let's see what we've got here. So in the player script, I have added uh, this line here. So I've added a public static integer, which is obviously a whole number. And I've called it score, because I'm very original. And I've given, I've given it a value of 0. And then down here on my on collision, so we had if I hit the lift, uh, then the lift is true. And that's my other uh, public static variable. Uh, but we're adding in another if here, so I'm saying if um, the other object that I hit, if its tag is coin, then score is plus plus, so that's basically score is plus one. Um, so let's go over and do that. So this error bubble needs to tag coin. So I've already kind of created that here, so I've got a tag called coin. If I hadn't, I'd hit add tag, hit a plus, and add the tag here, then go back to my error bubble, and uh, give the tag coin. Now, um, so that's fine. So I've got uh, my script that says when I bump into this object, um, increase my score by one. So that's that's where we're at at the moment. So when I when I on collision with the object coin, increase the score by one. So now, how do I get that public static variable? into uh, to change this piece of text here well um, let's go back to my my piece of text which is just here 
and I need to put a script on this and I have a script here called L1 score and uh, we'll just have a look at how that works so L1 score it's very simple first thing to note I've added in this at the top so if you don't use um, if you don't tell uh, unity or tell the script that you're using the, the UI component of the game engine uh, you won't be able to access uh, the UI elements it'll just return an error so um, so this is my script and I have a variable and it's going to be a text component and I've called it score text so I need to you know in the inspector I'm going to have a variable that is a piece of text and that's going to be what's on the button and very simply I've said uh, score text so my variable dot text so the, the field to fill in is I can because it's a public static I can just reference it straight away I can go it's character ones public static variable called score and then this thing here this is an integer and the text field is a string so it's alphanumeric but this is just a, an integer so these are kind of two fundamental kind of inputs uh, so we need to convert the integer into a string or it won't uh, won't work if we just uh, if we deleted that there and said this text equals that number we get a, a compiler error saying um, I can't put an integer into a string so this just uh, converts the integer to a string so we can use it in a button um, so I've put that script here onto my text and it's actually looking for, so this is basically saying what text do I need to update well you need to update that text there so um, let's see if that works let's press play and there's my character if I move forward you can see uh, immediately I've got a score of 0 and if I bump in here I've got a score of 1 and then as I bump and break the physics um, that was the character going inside the collider that uh, my score was increasing so I'll try that one more time a little more subtly if we can so oh, uh, no I can't do it subtly I'll have to do this a bit better but you can see the score is um, after shooting up there every time I collided uh, with the trigger so um, so that works so I have a, um, a coin or a game object and when I collide with it I'm updating a public static variable and then this uh, text field which is in my UI is um, through this little script here is grabbing the uh, public static variable that's on my player that is the score and updating it here okay so that's all we need to do for now